I don't know how they do that. Like, it's really cool. You just click a button and all those things pop up. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be looking at part three of our Sustainability City series. Now, I've not taken a look at this lesson up until now, and I'm quite excited to see what we're going to be learning about. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay everyone, let's dive straight in and walk up to the teacher and we're going to be doing lesson three today which as you can see is a green building. Now I'm going to put the uh, student activities up here and we're going to follow the sparkles. So the teacher will ask students ways in which they think large buildings such as schools potentially waste. Uh, the teacher will note the ideas on a T-chart, some ideas including heating and cooling, keeping the windows closed or opening them, or overuse of elevators. And we want to look at all of these things to decide how we can make a building more efficient. So we're going to chat to this chap called Heat. Um, a large space takes a lot of energy to heat. Um, so what he's doing is it's explaining uh, the first ways that they are spreading heat around. Um, so it takes a lot of energy to heat a building. And we're going to look at how we can do that more effectively. Uh, geothermal, of course we can take uh, heat from underground and that's what they're doing and you can see those particles moving up from the ground and distributing across the building there in the background which is pretty interesting. And then that's cool, we click continue and all that gets covered up. So um, all that underground stuff gets removed and now we're making our way through and we are exploring the building, okay? Now, um, let's take a look at the learning objectives for this one. Here are the learning objectives up on the screen as we follow the sparkles. So students will explore a green commercial building uh, in the center of the city, be able to explain how using natural materials can ensure that the building will have sustainable practices. So let's have a chat to the stairway guy. Um, using the stairs more, he's saying basically, don't use the elevator so much, use the stairs when you can, it uses lots less energy. Um, so we have a chat with this guy and um, then we're gonna walk up a whole load of stairs. So off we go, up the stairs. Oh, so many stairs. Gray water system, all the water from the sinks go into the building's gray water system. It travels down the tank into the basement and it's filtered. And we're gonna hop in to find out more. So we're gonna go down into this filter system to take a look at how the water is reused. Now we're going to look at some key vocabulary in a moment, but before we do, uh, let's hop over to Question Corner, see what's going on in Question Corner. Okay everyone, welcome back to Question Corner. We've got a question from Teddy, who's wondering why his agent won't move uh, when he's coding it. Now, uh, this should help everyone out there. If you don't press the green play button in the bottom right of your coding window, then it might be that's the reason. That is the button to compile the code. So if you do make any changes to the code, make sure you press that button before you then run in again uh, out in the chat window, okay? Hope that helps. All right, so we're done now with Question Corner. Thanks, guys, for asking those questions. Please do pop any questions in the chat. And we are making our way through the grey water system where the water is filtered and reused in this uh, building. Now, um, let's, uh, let's go over and have a chat with this guy over here who's called Synthetic Wetland. That's an interesting name. Uh, it drips into the man-made wetland uh, where it's filtered and cleaned. So they are cleaning the water uh, naturally through uh, using the, the wetlands that are... Um, constructed outside of this building, which is awesome. Let's go and have a chat with this first. Composting toilets use 96% less water. Every little step towards conversation, conservation, conservation, uh, helps to keep our building more uh, efficient. So key vocabulary for this one, we'll go up the stairs some more. Geothermal energy, gray water, synthetic wetland, water table, compost, conservation, regenerator, ventilation. Um, all really interesting things. Uh, you can get your students to look at research. You can get them to um, give definitions of those words, put them into a comprehension sheet or something like that. Loads of cool stuff that you can do to test that key vocabulary. Right, we've gone up the elevator um, and we are talking about the exterior windows. This is cool. Uses natural light to reduce the energy consumption, artificial lights, and watch this. And it changes uh, to the type of glass that they're talking about there. Really cool level designs, these. I don't know how they made half of these things. It's really awesome. And we go up here now, and we'll have a chat with this person who's called Heat Exchange. Ventilation is important to any building. We need it to distribute the heat or cooled air evenly throughout the structure. So what they're doing is they're on top of the building here, 
what they've got is a way that they are mixing the hot and the cold air together to kind of balance things out. So the air that's leaving the building is a normal-ish temperature. And uh, depending on the weather outside, they're putting um, desirable temperatures back into the building. So if it's a cold day, hot air is not being wasted. So we're going to shoot up the scaffolding here. And um, this is pretty cool. You just hold jump, fly up to the top, and you get a really... I think we're going to get a really cool view from the top here. Um, head out onto the crane. Uh, oh, I've gone the wrong way. No sparkles this way, but look at that view, eh? It's nice. And I think uh, we're going to be learning about the solar panels that are on the top when we head out to this guy. So, closing, this is what you should do with your students when they reach the end of this lesson. As a class, students will discuss what they learned about how a city building can be sustainable using natural items and less alternate energy. The teacher should jot down, jot down student responses on the board. If desired, the teacher can first show the students the video Smart Building Save, uh, Saving the World. So um, there's a link to that in the description. Oh, cool. Look at all the solar panels. They're awesome. Oh, I love those. I don't know how they do that. Like, it's really cool. You just click a button and all those things pop up. I guess they have a big team working on it, but that's awesome. Um, and uh, for more ideas, so the link to that video is in the description. Make sure you check that out. And this is the channel up over here somewhere where you can uh, go and check that video out and other cool videos as well. Now, there are six lessons in the Sustainability City series. So we've done the first three, three more. I'll be doing, probably doing one every few weeks or so because uh, they are cool. Um, and if you found video today's video helpful or useful in any way, please do like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, but until next time, have a good one.